Chris started logging and cataloging along with his father and choosing the images that were most prominent. And of course, the David Bowie images and our images of David Bowie have been the very images that have defined David's career. Tony DeFries, David Bowie's new manager, wanted a prominent photographer to shoot pictures of David Bowie for upcoming albums. So he had David Bowie in his Ziggy persona outfit, which was shown on top of the pops. Um, he had him filmed with three photographers, David Bailey, Sukita and Duffy. And Duffy was the one that gelled the best with David. They were very fond of books and they were both extremely creative and they really got along very well. So he shot the uh, Aladdin Sane album, which originally was called Aladdin Sane, and Duffy renamed it Aladdin Sane as he misheard, and of course created this amazing flash on David's face, which has been translated and used around the world. After Aladdin Sane, he shot Thin White Duke in New Mexico, and then he went on to shoot The Lodger, which was a very technical shot in his studio in North London, and finally, the Scary Monsters images, which you will see behind me. The Duffy Archive was started in 2007. Brian Duffy, the photographer, which was one of the most prominent photographers of the 1960s, along with David Bailey and Terence Donovan, nicknamed the Black Trinity. He was diagnosed with pulmonary fibrosis. At that point, Chris said, Dad, let's get your archive established, and in the future, we can do something with it. When Promalux introduced us to the product, we were absolutely astounded. And we, at that point, decided that we would like to use um, the Chromalux products for our five sessions exhibition. The colors are beautiful. It just popped. This is the next step up. It's beautiful. They are stunning. What makes Chromalux so different is not only the durability, it's just that they are so exciting. There's a lot of light in them. They actually look almost as if a light box is behind them. Uh, they've just brought a new depth and a much more uh, vibrant interest to the images, and they just look very, very exciting. The richness there that you probably don't get when they're printed out on art paper. It just reminds me of uh, how brilliant he was, really.